you go. This is the one that's the same silly thing. That old one, wee wee one. It's going to have a camera here. Then if you get the nail web, it's going to be an outfit in focus. So that's in focus, wouldn't you? There, there. No. She's on her own. Why do they keep... Don't include manicure in beginners. Area. Yeah, like that. And so obviously, we'll let him. Yeah. So obviously, once you want, well, they can hear us. Sorry, I muted that sound.
For those of people who have said hi, well, the starting screen is on. Yeah, I'll just wait for someone to tell me that they can see me and that I know it's working. I'll start Facebook Live in a minute now, so we're going to go on that one. Oh, hello, Gemma. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Oh. Amy channel. Mm -hmm. Amy's channel. Uh -huh. Amy. Anybody commented to see whether they can actually hear me or not yet? Let me know if you can hear me guys. Don't want to start until I know that you definitely can hear me. I can see you. So I'm not good. Okay then. Okay, okay we should be live on Facebook now and you're all not here. Amy's channel, what are you doing today? Question mark. 
showing you some new bits. SG Professionals, yes I can. Yes I, yes I can see you now. Can you hear me? Just want to check you can hear me. Um, Lori Cass says I hear you. Yay! Okay, so for the guys that are watching on YouTube, because we are on YouTube and Facebook at the same time today. So for the guys watching on YouTube, hello, because you can see me. Obviously, the Facebook guy can't. Um, no, this is going to be crazy. I know. This is the first time we've done a dual live feed. It's very strange. Got a lot of equipment around me. A little bit scary. Um, but hopefully, it will go okay. So for those on Facebook, you should only be able to see um, my paper right now. And for those on YouTube, hopefully you can see me and hear me. Just wait for the phone to start. Marie Clark says, can hear you. Laura Ashton says, hi guys. Hi Laura. Hi Marie. Hello, my little Millie Molly Moo Moo. <laughs> you going to come see me soon, Molly? Better do. Does somebody want to just flip you on? No. Uh, Tara Will says yes. Vicky Hoyland says hi. John Nicholson says yes. Gail's watching. Come here, Gail. Come Jean's watching. Hello, Jean. Ethan, I'll do it. Yeah, I'm going to say don't do it. Vicky Hoyland says now. yes, we can hear you. Tori Marsh Lori says Cass, hi. Hi. Michelle this is, is going to be crazy hi, today because Matthew and Ryan are both going to try and talk to me at the same time. So, YouTubers, we're going to show you some new products today. Um, so yeah, let's let's get started, shall we? Do you want to flip the screen on YouTube for me, please, Ryan? Yeah, we are going to the nail cam now. Brilliant. So, while I was on my holidays last week, I know Ryan did a very quick um, Facebook Live to show you the new photo chromatic pigments hmm right Ryan I've got an issue okay. my camera for there is on Facebook but if I do that on YouTube it's in the wrong place so we just need this one left there for Oops. one second that's it stay there oh. well it's a bit hard if it's there stay there um, I'll go find some blue tack <laughs> <laughs> technical issues right let me just check that it's on Facebook and then I'll move it to YouTube can't you just move this a little bit further back that way? No, because I'm not going to be away from this. Alright, okay. I'm sure you all can see me on the right now. Yeah, you can see my phone. There with us. Rome wasn't built in a day. Okay, so. Tara Wills says, hope you had a fab holiday, love the photo. Thanks, Dan. Oh, this is confusing when we look at Clark says, like... can't wait to see you both, Matt and Gemma. Love Molly. Molly. <laughs> Molly. Woo -woo. That's fine. Marie <gasps> Clark says, second draw down for blue tack. Well, Marie, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> Thanks, Marie. Kitty Tar says, hi, Gemma, love your nails. Uh, these are like two weeks old now, bless him. They are Thank ready you. for... Redoing. They're not manky, they're just ready for redoing. Wait, because I'll just move the angle of the nail team of the Facebook one. Stay there. Molly, I hope I live up to your expectations. Oh, no. Good, thanks, Molly. Hmm. Alright, we've had loads of more hi guys. Looks oh, yeah, and yeah. sounds great. Hello, Gemma. Scarlett, What's Scarlett on, watching on YouTube? She's watching on YouTube. Actually, just flip back to where it was. Yeah. No, she's there. I think I'm at one time. I can see her at the same time. Okay. Are we in view on both now? Yeah, but for some strange reason, it's going to say she's on the screen. Mm -hmm. Back to live, but with the paper. Yes, do it on that. Right. Okay. 
Gail's just showing off and she's watching the show. Yeah. <laughs> so, while I was away on holiday, Ryan gave you a very quick live feed on these new photochromatic pigments. Obviously, he didn't show you how to use them because he doesn't. Well, he knows a little bit, but not as much as me. So, um, as you can see, they are a fairly pale colour, quite white really, as a powder. When they um, go into sunlight, and I'm going to demo using my uh, lamp, but when they go into sunlight, you can see them actually changing now just from the light here. Um, but this is how dark they actually go. One second. Right, what about in here? Uh, Amy Louise Barrett says, after me, lovely. And then she put afterwards, I want. Look at them. So they go really, really bright when they're outside in the sunlight. So quite a nifty little nail art thing for your clients. Um, you know what they're like when we have heat changing things, they dip the fingers in coffee and stuff. Well this one is just changeable by sunlight. So you can see they're cooling down now from their UV, so they're going pale again. So yeah, these are great. So I'm going to show you how to use these to start with. Chloe Cass, wow. Wow, exactly. Wow. Wow. Whoa, dear. <laughs> Alexandra Ballesteros, Saludas, Crispy, Chile. <laughs> Seriously? I've <laughs> got someone. If you hold it still, I'll read it. The most asked to spoon us. I've probably said that completely wrong, but Alexandra Shame. Ballesteros is speaking in Spanish. Madeline Badenhold. I think that's right, it says awesome. While I remember, guys, um, between 8 and 9 o'clock tonight, Marion Newman will be doing a live feed on her page. Please watch it. She is such a a nail queen in our nail world. She's absolutely amazing. So please do watch her live feed. Her next live feed will be live on the Nail Team Facebook group. But this one's on her page. So if you get a chance at between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock tonight, please watch. So, just going to pop some white gel polish on. So she'll be watching. Just press it. Into the lamp for sixty seconds. I'm going to do a blend on purple to blue. Amy Louise Barrett, it's Marion Newman. Yeah. What did I say? No, she just said what she said. Oh. <laughs> but I'd said it wrong then. Still can't get enough. How many hours ahead of the East Coast US are you? There's well, it's weekend. four o'clock in the afternoon here. So I'll let you work, work it out. Which part of the world? It's 11.18. Scarlet Centre says, love your live feeds. How did your live feed go, hon? Was it okay? I didn't get to watch it, obviously. But um, I'll watch it later when I get a chance. Not too crazy. So for those guys that are being very clever and watching it on both, what's your preference, YouTube or Facebook? That's the second coat going into the lamp for 60 seconds. Katie Kemp, hello. Hello, hello. Ooh. 
we did have a very nice holiday, but I'm so glad to be back in England with normal coffee. Glory cast, YouTube. YouTube. Scarlet Centre, I think it went really well. Good. It's been a tough week at home, but I am I am excited. Love YouTube. Good. Um, I've ordered your crystals to sell, so they should be here next week. Glory. Hello from Norwich. I love YouTube. See, there's a lot of YouTube fans. There's nobody on Facebook saying out my tool. Nobody sticking up for Facebook Live. Nope. David says YouTube costs both screens, but Facebook is loud for me. That's because we're not on mic. Yes, we normally have a mic, and Ryan, and I'm fully blaming Ryan, forgot the microphones today. Okay, so we're going to put the photochromatic pigment into the sticky layer. Donna Marie Thomas. Hello, darling. It's very nice to be having a different view from Naomi Coffee on YouTube. So I'm putting two different powders on here, just using my pigment brush. Failure just being greedy. <laughs> yeah, failure just being greedy. Scarlet Centre, oh my god, eek, Gemma, love you loads. Yeah, I can't wait to sell yours, babes. So, as you can see, very pale at the minute, sort of almost see a lilac and a pale green, and that's purely because we've got the lights on to do the videos. Um, normally, it would probably just be quite white, if I'm honest. Um, now, top coating. Top coating with this is very important, because if I put Optic Shine, which is one of my favourite top coats, you know it is, if I put Optic Shine on this, it is a sun blocker. So when you go out in the sunlight, it's not going to change colour. So you cannot use Optic Shine as your top coat when you're using your photochromatic pigments. So I'm going to use my Flexi Top Gloss. Just bear with me one second while I grab it. Oh, no. Yeah, how do I know that? Because I did it on my toes and they didn't change colour. <laughs> so yeah, learning from my mistakes, Piper. And then I experimented while you was away. Yes, and then Ryan tried all different top coats for me. While I was on holiday, and I'm like I say, I'm using <laughs> Flexi Top Gloss Beautiful when I find it. Says, Hello, Ingrid Barrett says, "Do you have to be rough with this? I struggle sometimes." No, with no, pigments. no. Nice and gentle. The pigment brushes are really, really, really soft. So no, nice and gentle. Um, found it. Found it. Found it. So I'm gonna put my top gel on this now. I'm only going to do one coat on this display tip, but on a client I would always recommend two coats of your top gel, especially when working with pigments and glitters. And that's going to go into the lamp now for its full 60 second cure. Katie Camp, YouTube. Love the two views and the notifications are better in this. Oh yeah. Yeah, because people do miss the Facebook one because they don't, because it's a group and not a page, they don't get notified. Um, so yeah, people do miss that, unfortunately. So Flexi Top Gloss has got a sticky layer, so I'm going to wipe that off when it comes out the lamp. Sixty seconds seem ages when you're waiting for it. Mm. Mm. It does. Wow. Six seconds to make any sense out of it. <laughs> Major Rosie, hello YouTube, hello from Canada. It's cooling right down now, so the colours are going back. So I'm just taking that sticky layer off my top coat. 
and I'll put it back into the lamp really quickly and bring it back out to show you. The purple goes really purple. So obviously it's going to fade as I hold it now back to the really pale colours. When you're in the sunlight it would be dark purple and dark blue. Clever that, isn't it? Clever. Really clever. Love it. Back into the lamp just to show you again. And it's pretty instant when you put it in the lamp. Um, but when you obviously go outside in the sunshine, it is pretty instant. Um, Scarlet Centre, I'm now watching you on my telly. Oh my god. I've got YouTube. I hope you've not got a massive screen, Scarlet, because that's not a pretty view of me on a massive screen. Okay. Louise Bright says, wow, this is magnificent on my eyes. It's very clever, and clients love little gimmicky things like that that change colour and do things like that. So your clients are going to love these, absolutely love them. I'll pop it back in the lamp to show you one more time before I show you something else. Gail's watching Judith's Yes, it's my little boy's birthday today. Our little boy is two years old today. Uh, Icky Hoyland says, oh my. Abigail Hamilton says, is it selfish? I just want to be with my little girl. Yeah. <laughs> Sod the clients. <laughs> uh, Caroline Turner says, love the lamp. Yeah, they're nice and fun. I like anything that's a bit fun. Laurie Cass. Gemma, what did you use on your iPhone? This one. Hey, Laurie. Hey, on YouTube, yeah. Um, it has got different coloured neon pigments in. Obviously, you can see the growth plus it at the bottom. And then it's got Galaxy Hollow Supreme on the top. Can we found a bit of magic. Yes, the website on the YouTube view, you've got the website scrolling along the bottom so you know where you're going to. But for those on Facebook, if you're not sure, this is www.thenailteam.com forward slash shop. Ashley, should we make it a family affair? Ethan, come here. <laughs> Your Ethan's job. here as well. Ethan, come here. Pull a chair up. Your job on this live feed, when we give you the nudge, you've got to say www.thenailteam.com forward slash shop. Put in a nice, loud, clear you voice. I don't like to move it because I can see it going into my shop. So give it a practice run. Nudge. www.thenailteam.com dot com dot <laughs> com forward slash forward slash the shop no shop dot co dot uk would actually tell you to so that's what I'm going to do for this time oh uh, we've got a ghost in the shop something's just fell off oh my god oh Shelf probably. Are they goggles? Right, just put them to one side and put them back in again. Lolly Cass, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Victoria, hey. Hi, Victoria. Hey, honey. Ooh, look at them tan dams. Mm. Victoria, switch over to YouTube. See or a nice tanned shoulder as well, Victoria. Amy Louise Barrett says, do you always need to put white underneath for this to work? You don't have to use white, but white is obviously going to show the colours off the best. Um, you could put it on, you, I don't know, you maybe could put the, the yellow onto an orange and it's going to make your orange base a little bit yellower. It'll do that, but for them to get the true colour, you would be better going over the top of white. Mary Woods, yay, I'm finally watching you on YouTube. Yay! Emma Richards says, hello everyone. Hi, hi. Hello, Emma. Hello, Emma. Hello, Emma. <laughs> so I'm going to use red and yellow in this next one. Whoever's put the lids on these. Uh, 
Stephanie Torella says, hi guys, this is awesome watching you on YouTube, on my TV, and talking to you on Facebook. Oh my god. Well, these are beautiful, my clients will love these when I can get back to work, I can't wait to come to work. Yeah, I do, I do think this is going to be like one of those client ones that are like, oh my god, this is awesome, I want to show my friends. But we're not going home, and, well we're not going out for a meal, I'm going home and I'm going to be like, let's watch you on YouTube and you're not all sitting around 55 inches. No, I mean the photochromatic pigments, not uh, watching me on YouTube. That's not what I meant. I'm not a fan of watching myself back on YouTube because I sound really funny. I'm going to watch this back and just see a bit of the rhythm of it. Emma Richards says, Gemma, I don't know if anyone has mentioned that, that post you did, that little girl on your holly bobs, she was so pretty. She was lovely. Um, I'm meeting up with her mum again um, in a couple of weeks when I go to Manchester. Um, but yeah, a lovely, lovely girl. Anybody who doesn't know the, the story behind it, basically, we met a lovely family um, in Egypt and the 12-year-old girl would not come out of the room because she was body conscious. Now, I'm sorry, but that is just awful. It's absolutely awful. What 12-year-old girl should even be remotely worried about what she looks like she's 12 years old she should be able to go around the pool happy carefree and she wasn't because she'd been bullied so she was body conscious which is just ridiculous and i personally blame it completely and utterly on social media and and the uk press and so yeah it really wound me up so i encouraged her to come out of the room by giving her a bit of nail art on holiday and, um, and it worked she came out of the room so she was lovely lovely girl Kitty Tar says that was so sweet. Emma Richards says she looked beautiful. She was. She was. She was a stunning and girl. And, and very polite with it as well, you know. Just she was lovely. No need to be body conscious at that age, whatever you look like, but yeah, she was stunning anyway, so she was stunning, thirty eight and I'm being lovely. Two chins, four bellies and uh, grey hairs. <laughs> I don't care. You're laughing at me. Why are you laughing? You should be ashamed of me. You should be ashamed of me. <laughs> Top coat on. Are you, what, what are you thinking of? Is that just sweet beer that you have got a latch on? What do you think of? It's a latch on this. It's not a latch on this. Come on. Hopefully everybody understands how to use the photochromatic pigments now. I love them, it's just a hard word to say, that's all. Why? Photochromatic pigments. A bit of a tongue twister. Emma Richards says, bullies are awful. They are. They are normally the ones who have problems. So sad. Anyway, what's all this now? Colour change, colour pigments? Yes, with sunlight. UV. So this is the only thing about going on holiday. Air conditioning, you get a collar. Prices. Do you know the prices off by heart, Ryan? For the small pots it is £3.20. So your little pots are £3.20 each. And your stacker is £20. Your stacker of all seven is £25. Get the sticker there off and then I, again I'll put it straight back into the lamp so that you can see the colour change. That is red to yellow, that one. And 
You can have so much fun doing these guys. They are really, really fun to do. And over the next few weeks, I will have a play myself and come up with some art techniques with them as well. So that should be fun. Okay, a couple of other new bits to show you. Uh, this one, do you want to do Cass and Loki? I don't know. Glowy Cass. Ooh. So we already sell display tips and um, we already sell the wheels that have got locks on. But. Maybe. Yeah. Tracy, we heard about Vivian and Tracy and she said, I'm looking to use Jamie. Emma Richards says, so will they go in acrylic or just over gel? No, they can be mixed in with your acrylic as well if you want to do it with acrylic. Yep, definitely. Hi, Julia. Hello. So these are your display nails again, but instead of just having one on a whole stick, you get three. Triple so, stick. Yeah, triple display sticks. So they're new, they're on the website now if you're wanting anything like that. What else is new, Ryan? What else is new? We have, we have nail rings. So when you're painting, because I'm one of these people that I end up putting paint on my thumb and distributing from there. So you can now have a little nail ring just there, holding your client's hand and just distribute your paint from your nail ring. So just purely for ease of working with nail art. So they're new, they're on the website now. Lots of people ask me to get these trays in for your crystals, just to hold your crystals while you're working. So I've got them in for you. And then... The latest sort of nail art tool is this um, dabbing tool. So these are really soft sponges. Let me just grab mine. This was my sample one that I got. Um, they're soft sponges so you can put your gel paint onto them and then you just can dab and create your ombres on your nails. So these are new as well. So they're on the Nail Team website as well. And what is the Nail Team website, Ethan? www.thenailteam.com <laughs> nice. nice. yeah. forward slash shop. Well done, Ethan. Nailed um, it. You really suit that colour top. Thanks. I it's only when it I've got on. a tan. Looks better on bedroom floor. Oi. I have it on my nails. It's um, blue sky and I had to... Do six coats over a white base. Can you recommend a, a good brand of gel that their that doesn't light need six coats cover a few in a few coats? Right, nailed it. Says you really suit that colour of top. I have it on my nail. It's blue sky, and that's do six coats over a white base. Can you recommend a good brand of gel that their light colours cover in a few coats? We sell um, Halo. And lac gel, perfect nails lac gel. Let me just get your halo ball to show you. We sell two different ranges of gel polishes. My personal preference is the lac gel. I love lac gel because they are extremely highly pigmented. So one to two coats maximum. So brilliant for that. But the halo range is a very popular range as well. So we got that one in for you. And I love the fact that you can see the colours from the lids as well um, and the price of these is only $5.99 a bottle so it is a really good deal but I would recommend both they are both a great range so obviously depending on what colour you are looking for have a look at both ranges and see see what you fancy see what colours you need in so yeah they would be the two that I would recommend oh I know what else we haven't shown we've had so much new stuff coming while I've been on holiday I forgot what's around um, so we've got the new glitter striping tapes. These are really pretty. Very simple to use. Not as difficult as normal striping tape because they're a little bit thicker. Um, and they've obviously got a sticky back so you can just stick them onto the nail to create whatever designs you want. Um, I did a couple of live feeds a few weeks back with striping tape so if you get stuck for ideas have a look at those ones. Um, but yeah, these are really nice and easy and simple to use. I think they'll obviously be even more popular coming up to Christmas time. I know you don't want to think about Christmas just yet, but um, it's, it's coming. 
Um, so yes, they'll be really popular at that time because they're glittery and obviously we like anything glittery, don't we, at Christmas. So they're in now as well. Only at Christmas. Even nail techs like Well no, we, us nail techs like glitter all year round, don't we? But Tracy more so Dickel at says hi yet. Who says hello? Tracy Dickel. Hello, Tracy Dickel. Right, is there anything else new that I needed to show? No? No? Okay. Open it up to you guys then. What would you like me to show you? What would you like to see right now? Joanne Nicholson says, loving the halo polish. And Emma Richards says, if in doubt, get glitter out. Yeah, definitely. They are defo going to give that a try. Good. Glory cats, sparkly anytime. <laughs> oh, no, it's quite dark. <laughs> and art, well, it's Spanish name and French speaking Italian, so art. Inglés, Udico, or something like that. I do apologise. Can't pronounce it. It says, Hola, saludas. Hola. Saludos des, desde Mallorca. And I so reckon we're that's. guessing you live in Mallorca. Hello from Mallorca. You lucky, lucky person. Lord Cass, chameleons. Uh, Julie Flood says, What acrylic brush do you recommend? I love, love, love my Perfect Nails size 12. It's a lovely brush. And uh, Marie Clark's just pointed out Perfect Hollow Paint. Perfect Hollow Paint. Swirls. Oh, I haven't tried them yet. So once I've had a play with them, then I'll show you how to use them. Um, I'd rather have a little play myself first. Okay, Emma Richards yes, says, let Ethan Marie. pick something. <gasps> let Ethan pick something. And then she's put, um, uh, is it Ethan? Oh my God, have I got that wrong? It is Ethan, you're right. Ryan, Ethan and Reed. Nailed it. Can you do a multiple ombre nail, please? Ethan would probably pick something from like Marvel or something like that. Want me to do a Captain America nail or something? I'll do a Hulk one. Be. Okay. Carry B nails. Do something with swirls. I struggled with swirls and lay your gel. Okay, that's doable. What was I thinking? Can do. What are you trying to say that multiple ombre is not doable? Jen, that's what you've got to. No, I'm going to do a multiple ombre, but I'll do some swirls on top. Okay. So everyone on YouTube, what do you think to the new overlay? It does look nice, Mum. I've got a very clever 17-year-old now, haven't I? So we'll put three colours on this. Emma Richards says filigree. Is filigree? Filigree, yeah. I struggle with that. Glory cast, nice. You need to make sure that your pigment brushes are nice and soft. When you're doing this, you don't want anything that's got a spiky finish to it. You want a really soft pigment brush. Hello, Hello, Hello. <laughs> Hello 
Was it just five lines or no five lines? Alexandra Carroll says, I hope you all had a fab time. I did. Uh, glad we you're did, back thank you, darling. Live feeds. Have you missed this live feed, Son? Live. Are you able to see the difference in the powders while I'm playing? Um, ever so slightly. They are slightly a different colour when you're applying them, but obviously, yeah, they've got labels on, so I, as long as I know which one's which when I place them down on my desk, I'm alright, but yeah. You can slightly see the difference. If you work in quite a sunny room, you're going to be able to see the difference quite clearly. But if you're in quite a shaded area, then yeah, they're going to be white, so it's a little bit more difficult. Gail, bless us for putting all uh, links up. Thank oh, you, thanks, Gail. Uh, Emma Richards says, "Okay, my three-year-old wants colour on her nails. Bless her. I saw another famous nail tech say she puts gel polish with no prep." Or base on her children so it peels off faster. I'm sure her kids were far older, but still, would this work? How old does she say she is? Three. Oof. I would stick to child polish if I were you. Child friendly nail polish at that age. Purely because I wouldn't want to be putting any chemicals on a three year old, if I'm honest. Um, going to do royal gel in white but let's do it in a different colour she'll not see. Alexandra Carroll has replied yes with regards to this and other things. Um, I'm going to use royal gel. Yeah, Gail puts some 50, more links 50. up. Emma Richards says so like a kid's frozen nail set from Plaza. Um, hopefully that would be chemical. I know you can't ha I know there's no such thing as chemical free. I shouldn't say chemical free, but hopefully that would be more child friendly. Um or look at look for some of the professional brands that do kids gel polishes. Uh, nail polishes, sorry. Don't presume it's just because it's for kids from our yeah. dog that is actually gel free. I'm not saying that it wouldn't be, I'm just saying I'd probably want to look at the ingredients myself. Check, check and triple check. Okay. Scarlet Bambi. Great to let us see you work. There's so much to learn from you. Keep them coming these streams. So filigree is sort of the art of fine lines but then slightly thicker areas. So you create your thicker area and then use the point of your brush to pull down to create your thinner area. She says, I've heard about piggy paint, but my god, the prices. Gina, can the pigments be used with the waterways, like embedded in the design you've seen? Can the pigments be used with the waterways? Hmm, I'd have to try. See if everyone can see what I'm doing correctly. Mm Go in the lamp just for 10 seconds, just so that you know it's going to stay there. It's not going to move on you. Can 
Jeremy Ritchie says, how do you even know where to place this pattern? I think I go too close. Um, I suppose that's more from practice than sight, to be honest with you, because I don't sort of copy anything. I just have something in my head that I think, oh, that'll look nice, so I'll, I'll have a go at that. But I think that comes with time as well. Experience. Yeah, definitely. B nails, thank you. I could watch your work all day long. Thank you. I do love doing nails, so I think that obviously helps, doesn't it, when you when you do all your job. I'm just showing you all different ways of doing it at the moment, really. Oh, Again. you can just tell I want to know what brush you're using. Barbara too. My favourite brush, Barbara 2. Got your favourite brush ever or your favourite brush to do the stuff with? My favourite brush ever really. And I do love my Barbara brush. I was very much like everyone else when I first got it, I thought what the hell. But the more you work with it, the more you adapt your way of doing your work. To go with it, it yeah, it's it's a brilliant brush once you get used to it. Glory cats, that's so pretty, Gemma. I'm probably going a bit overboard on it now, but it shows you all the different movements, hopefully. And that, just that flash curing for 10 seconds is really good because it keeps it in place for you. Especially on a warmer day. Um, if it's a cold day it will stay in place a bit longer but on a warmer day um, you'll, you'll get more movement. Lucy Green says what brush are you on your Galaxy? It's the Galaxy Hollow Supreme. There is some new and exciting things coming up with the nail team in the next, hopefully in the next few weeks. We've been working on them for, well, since January now. Um, so I don't want to release them until they're utterly, utterly ready. Um, but it's going to be very helpful for you guys, hopefully. It's going to give you a lot more in-depth online training. Um, but yeah, as soon as it's ready, I will release it and let you all know about it. And then once you've finished, full cure is 60 seconds for your royal gels. They are tack free, so once they come out of the lamp, they're completely finished. And I'll just let that fully cure and then I'll show you. Anything else that anybody would like to see? You've got a bit more time with me, so what else would you like? <laughs> Not sure what you're interested in now. No. Keisha Douglas says it's great to see hand drawn nail art. Everyone just seems to be doing stuff in the moment. Well, I mean I put a post on the didn't I just before I went on holiday. Um there is a lot, a lot of, of glitter nails at the minute. And and there's nothing wrong with that. I do like a good glitter nail. I wear good glitter nails. It, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. 
but I have missed seeing nail art so my sort of uh, goal over the next few months is to, to try and bring back nail art and show you how to do just nice quick simple salon designs that you can do um, at speed in salon and yeah let's bring back nail art let's get a bit more interesting with our work hashtag bring back nail art Akisha Nathan beautiful Ashley Burke says hi Gemma hi um, Gail says I did one stroke to save the train from Florida says good morning good morning darling good how morning, are you I feel like these are the ones need some artwork on now Stephanie Truella says, apart from the black and white, what other colours would you recommend or are really popular for design work like this from the Royal Gel range, please? Um, yeah, go with your, with your primary colours. So definitely get your red, your blue. Um, uh, I'd definitely go yellow, green, purple, pink. Get your, your main colours and then you can always mix then, can't you? So if you wanted the lilac, you can mix your, your white and your purple together. So as long as you've got your primary colours and then you, those like couple additional ones, your pink, your purple, your green, then you, you're good to go then, aren't you? Definitely. Uh, Maria Orne says, uh, I'm good. How are you both? We're very good, thank yeah, you. Good, thank Back you. off Holly Bobs and new Holly degrees to keep thin. Uh, Keisha Douglas says, well, I'll definitely be watching now for that. Um, thanks, Gemma. You are welcome. Any more questions, guys, while I'm just doing some artwork on here? Probably could have been doing done with another bit of cloth, I think.
Patreon or something else. Can you say hey, get mad? Hello, darling. I'm looking at the video. Thank you. Remember when you're happy with your royal jelly and you don't want it to move, pop it in the lamp just to partial cure just so it stays in place. Ashley Brett says, how did you do your nails? Was it with pigment powders? Um, I'm Ashley Brett on Facebook. Yeah. Um, I did a live feed on it, Ashley, so if you, um, if you go back to... Uh, Two and a bit weeks ago, there's a live feed on exactly how I did my nails. So you can watch the video. Maria Isabella Jimenez Barrera says, Saludes desde Mexico. So, hello from Mexico. Hello, Hello Maria, Maria. Isabella Jimenez Barrera. I don't know why I can't read it. I'm not that good at reading. It's obviously I'm completely wrong, but <laughs> it sounds good. Ashley Brett says, okay, thank you. Hello Rita, I just came in, is that gel polish? No, it's design gels, it's a royal gel from Crystal Nails, uh, which is a design gel. Heavy B nails, I've been doing some hybrid nails. When one client come, came back, the ends of some of her nails lo look like they, the hard gel chipped off. Do I need to be filling the acrylic before I put on the Filing gel? Filing the acrylic. Filing. Filing the acrylic before I put on the gel on top. Um, you shouldn't need to, but if your client is a little bit rough, then filing your acrylic with a 150 grit file would help. Um, the adhesion between the gel and the acrylic because there's, there's a bit of a grain there um, but yeah only if your client's a little bit rough with the hands Vicky Beaver says oh no I have a client coming in 10 minutes we'll have to let you know in 10 minutes okay, do. see you later thanks for coming Can I phone you back? Uh, it's been really late. It's so again, every time you're happy, just give it a flash chill. Okay, B nails. Yes, she is rough. Lol. She works at a hardware store. Thank you. 
yeah that's probably why then so just give your uh, acrylic a file 150 grit nothing higher in number lower in grit um, and then yeah it should your adhesion should be better then uh, touch on an out later is that a barber two brush it is darling and I go over the blue post link link mm -hmm. thank you darling Again, once you're happy, full cure 60 seconds. Jessica, hi Gemma, just turned in, tuned. Oh, tuned in, watching you all the way from New York. Oh, you Love lucky person. Do you live in New York or are you just visiting New York? We'd love to go to New York, wouldn't we? bucket list Chelsea, shocking. I love that red colour. Jessica, I live in New York. Oh, you lucky bird. I'll book it to Chelsea. Yeah, that'd be good. Willow Reaper is the top half thermal. It's not thermal, it's photochromatic. Um, if you miss the start, that's I showed you how to use it. So um, once this is finished, you can go back and watch it from the beginning. Um, but yes, they are photochromatic pigments, so when they um, come in contact with UV rays, whether that be sun or from your UV lamp, they change colour. Or as you're on YouTube, you can go back now if you want. Oh, can you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when they are in the sun, they'll be that colour, and then when they're not, you can see obviously now on the nail, it's gone pale. Very clever little things. Okay. Anybody else ask to see anything else in particular this year? Kathy Wormsley says, I notice you don't always keep the brush on a 90 degree angle. Doing the background bits on a 90 degree angle. Doing the background bits. Practicing loads but struggling a bit. I know practice makes perfect, practicing loads. If you're trying to do obviously those little thicker parts of your design, then no, you don't want to be at a 90 degree angle. But if you're trying to do the really fine lines, then you use that 90 degree angle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to do one more or? Up to you, dude. Yeah, yeah.
So you want to go like really, really fine. You want the tiniest amount on your brush and um, you want that 90 degree angle. The less paint you have on your brush, the finer the lines are going to be. So if you want to go really fine, tiny tiny amount on your brush. Tia Button. Hey Gemma from North Carolina. Your work is amazing. <laughs> Willow Rita, is it possible to use that pigment to show the top of the design instead of the, the background? I'm going to have a play with that. It's a, an idea that I've got in my head. So when I've got a bit more time, I will have a play with that. But yes, I think so. I think I just need to put it into either a tacky layer or a wet layer of gel. And then, yes, I think that should work. We've only been back a holiday three days, I've just not had a chance to uh, I'm teaching for the first two days anyway. I've not had a chance to have that quiet time that I would have liked. MS Petra T, what brush are you using for your fine lines? Barbara 2. Terry Johnson says, looking forward to Monday's course. You go quite fine, let's see if you do that. And that 90 direct degree angle does make a difference for your fineness. <laughs> and the nice thing about the royal gels, doing it in royal gel rather than with acrylic paint, is things like your swirls you don't have to do in one clean movement if you don't want to. You can do it in a few movements. So just because it spreads easier than acrylic paint does. Because it doesn't dry until it goes into the lamp. Thank you. 
Italian radio Maggie, just in case. Anastasia. Hi, Gemma. Hello. From Greece. Hello. I love your work. We're about to be doing See what I've been doing in my lovely studio room. So, oh, good. I'm glad that I'm glad you've had your light bulb moment. That's the idea of doing this, really, is that um, you learn something or you, you see something that you're not quite doing. But yeah, the the thing with the whole detailing work is you do have to sit and play for hours and hours and hours until all of a sudden it clicks and you get what you need to do. The other thing with the swirls is to go slow. If you go too fast, the brush is going to sort of flip away from you and you're not going to get that nice perfect swirl that you're after. So slow down. Full 60 seconds go when you're happy. Any more questions? Just try what I'm not on. What's the difference? Photochromatic pigments and royal gel painting. Oh yeah, but I am actually showing you this. <laughs> glittery tapey things. Technical words from Ethan. Glittery tapey things. <laughs> Glitter shred. Claire Ritchie says fab suntan. Emma Ritchie says OMG, I need to get my stuff out tonight and have a proper play. Gemma, you don't mark it as unfinished, which is good. Good. Uh, Emma Ritchie says, Matthew, can you tell my daughter to get up? <laughs> Emma Ritchie's daughter, get up! <laughs> I say FML, you are so good at that, I don't even have a steady hand, and my lines bleed and look thin. Yodel, can you do this as well? I just, I, I just, I'm, I mean, I'm impressed with the colour changing, I just think it's so fun. I can imagine clients are like, putting their hands in the light and then... It's good, it's good fun. Not in this video with Emma's body inside the camera. Yeah, I'll take I'll do a video of us going outside and put it on Facebook so that you can see that it changes with the sunlight as well as your your UV lamp. Obviously I'm just using the UV lamp as a uh, demonstration, but yeah, it works in sun as well. So. Okay. I think that will do for today. Um, we're going to go and pick 
our uh, two-year-old little boy up from nursery and take him out for his birthday. Right. So yeah, thank you very much for watching YouTube and Facebook. I hope you've enjoyed the dual live feed today. Good night uh, from me. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Bye. Never changing back.